Hi, I'm Alicia, and today I'm going to introduce you to a new web tool called Storybird, something I really like because it is so simple and fast to create storyboards. Here's one here. What will you do when the monsters come? It has a really nice cover, and inside you can see great artwork and lots of space to write stories. Great for your students. Now I've signed into my Storybird account and it's brought me to the main news feed where I can see stories from people that I've followed and stories that Storybird thinks I should see. From this main page at the top, I can also start creating a new Storybird. Let's see how that works. When you click create, you're brought to a page with all kinds of artwork that you can just browse through to find something that inspires you. Or on the side here, you can see, you can search by how the artwork is tagged to find something more specific. If I like this picture, I can click on it, see the other artwork that this artist has, and use their artwork in my story by clicking here. Now it brings me to the storybook creator. When you've chosen a specific picture, it will automatically put it on the first page of your story, as you can see down here. It's put it so the artwork takes up the whole space of the page, but by simply clicking and dragging the image around, you can see where you're going to put your image by what part is highlighted in gray. So let's put that over there. And you can type your story here. Adding extra pages is simple too. You just click this plus button, find some artwork, choose where you want to put it, and continue typing up your story. It also lets you create a cover for your story here. You can choose a classic, original storybook cover, one where your picture is landscaped, a journal cover, or an icon cover where you can choose a symbol to represent your story. Let's choose a classic storybook cover. It puts the artwork there again for us, but if we want to choose something else, simply drag it into the space. You can use this tool down here to select what color you want for the front page. Click to add your name. It automatically puts my username and add a title. And as simple as that, you have an amazing looking book that you can share. Now that I've done as much of my story as I want, Using the menu tab down here, I can save it to continue another time. I can publish it, or I can invite people to help me finish it. Let's publish this one. Here it gives you options where you can add a summary of what your story is about, choose a category, add tags so people can find it more easily. You can add who your story is for as well as other options. And there, we've published a story. So simple and quick. I think this is a great tool for your students to be creative in their stories. And it also helps them by inspiring them. Now you should go try it for yourself. For more information on how you can use Storybird in your classroom, see my text slam at alisharoy.blogspot.ca.